I'm going to talk football betting 101 with today's big game breakdown as we talk about the Seahawks and the Dolphins and really basic strategy concepts that many bettors still don't seem to be familiar with. Right now, look at the way to talk live on screen. I'm seeing Seattle minus four and a half across the board total sitting at 41 and a half in most locations. We have seen a, a little bit of under money come in and obviously you have Miami playing with a backup quarterback. Football betting 101 says you bet on the team with the injured quarterback the first week. We saw it with Green Bay last week. What happens? Everybody steps up. You know, the guys know we got to play. We got to bring our A game. Our QB's out. Point spread value to bet on that team is at its zenith because the market's adjusting. Oh, the quarterback got hurt. Bang. You know, we better knock their power rating down. In this case, it's, it's close to a touchdown. Um, and of course, there's not much good film oftentimes on the backup QB who's going to play in and what they want to do with him. So defenses are at something of a disadvantage in that regard. So the value lies with the team that just had the quarterback get hurt, which is Miami in this instance. Of course, Miami had extra time to repair. They're coming off a Thursday night game. Seattle's coming off an overtime game on the far coast, you know, on the East coast. So advantage Miami in that regard. And of course, in the question, you know, is, is Skyler Thompson good enough? You know, well, he beat out last year's number two, Mike White, in training camp. When you hear the quotes coming out of Mike McDaniel, quote, I think the best way to articulate where we're at for the team and the organization is be very confident in Skyler. There's a reason he was our backup quarterback. So I'm believing what they're saying, and it's not like Miami is a one person team. Of course, the pride of Kansas State, we're talking about a 27 year old, he's not a kid. And certainly someone who I think is capable of coming in and leading Miami to a solid performance. Seattle, Seattle's, you know, what, 2-0. and They're fat and happy. They're not a let's lay more than a field goal off an overtime win when facing a team with a backup quarterback kind of squad. And it's not that kind of spot. Seattle's banged up already. Kenneth Walker hurt. Jerome Baker. Uh, George Finn. Farrah Brown. Missing key offensive pieces. Missing a key linebacker. I know it's a new coach in Seattle, but this home field has not been worth much. They were 0-1 as home chalk this year. 2-4 and ATS as home chalk last year. They lost twice outright. 1-4 and as home chalk in 2022. Their last winning season against the spread as home favorites came in 2020. And I throw everything out from 2020 at this stage. Short and sweet. It's too many points. Miami plus is the way I'm looking. And you want to get on board, take 100 bucks off any college football slash NFL combo season pass. Just use promo code FBALL100. Again, FBALL100 at checkout is going to get you 100 bucks off a combo season pass. Great time to get on board. And, of course, we appreciate the likes. We appreciate the follows. If you have an opinion, leave a comment below.